Hey everyone, I'm going to share with you the month grocery haul that I did for March. The, what I'm trying to do with these monthly grocery hauls is to get the majority of grocery shopping done for the month. Um, I know I will probably have to pick up a few things, you know, throughout the month. Hopefully, you know, like maybe two, three weeks in, uh, things like some fresh produce maybe that we're out of, any kind of dairy that we might need and um things like that goal is to reduce going in to the grocery store as much as possible and do that monthly grocery shop um that way you can kind of get like maybe bulk deals and different things like that also it is about 20 miles to walmart and sorry it's a bad hair day. It's about 20 miles to Walmart and I do have an Aldi near near or closer but I can't get everything there that I can do at Walmart. So the goal is you know limited time in there and save as much money as we can. I wanted to give this a full quarter to see if I could make it work. Um, some, some of the comments have been that I have not been saving as much money because I haven't been able to get the deals. Um, maybe today's video will help you change your mind on that. Again this is only month two. Um, but I was on the shops a little bit more. Um, however, uh, I have not learned the sale prices of my area. And again, if I have to travel 20 miles to go to a store like Kroger or anything to find these deals that may or may not have them, I may not get, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I may not get the best use out of my money, especially in terms of gas. So I've gone from the town in Indiana where I was at, um, a population of 9,000, I, I think, nine to 12,000 people, to my area now is 30,000 plus. That's just one area, and we've got multiple small towns. Um, I live in a, in a large area, so, you know, I'm, I have more people competing for these deals and whatnot. Doesn't mean that they're not there. It just means that they're going to be a little bit harder to find. Um, okay, but so I just, this is, this is last month. I'm way behind on video editing. Life has just been crazy. In the video um, that's going to come out soon, there's going to be kind of what's going on um, with our family and whatnot. But I really wanted to give this one quarter to see if I could make this work. Um, it is now April and I'm not doing the monthly grocery shop as I will indicate in that video. So what you need to understand with this video is some of the things that I've learned is I think I could, I think I could really make this work with doing the bulk, doing the bulk prep and then needing a little bit of a filler item and I'm really going to be working towards that, especially um, with the changes that are happening um, in our family coming up. And I know I'm kind of like alluding to everything and that's very irritating, especially if you're not consistent with, excuse me, with video uploads. I'm just, please be patient. It's, it's kind of a crazy time. It's, it's doing the best I can, but family's got to come first. So channel comes next or a little bit down. Um, okay. So got got this uh I've got this to share with you I've got um kind of some thoughts that I wanted to share kind of getting into it um I did not get a uh Costco haul for you there is a Costco haul in here or there was a Costco haul done last month um we went down to Detroit which is where the Costco is that's the nearest one to us. Um, it's like on the upper upper part of Detroit, so I'm not in downtown Detroit. I ended up in downtown Detroit by accident and whew, would like to avoid that. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, did not get that film because I was focusing on visiting with a friend and I got home and it was late and we unloaded everything. And by the time things are unloaded and put away, the last thing I want to do is find everything, pull it all out, film it. And I was like, I'll just put a, you know, disclaimer or something on it. Never did. So there is about, I want to say it was 
things like toilet paper. Um, we got some butter. This is before you're going to see later on in the video that I found a good butter deal, but um, I had to purchase it um, at Costco. That was the best price we could find. Um, we, we had a number of like bulk things that we were running low on that I really wanted to pick up. Uh, sugar. Sugar was another one. What else? I think I, those are what I can remember. I know we got the mangoes. Like we always get the dried mangoes there. I love it. It's such a good treat. Um, so we got those. <sighs> anyway, I know it was over a hundred dollars. That which leads me into the next thing that I didn't get to, you know, discuss in the video or anything else. This month was a flop when it came to our budget. Um, I know I went over $100 just in the trying to get the monthly stuff situated. I know I went over. Um, I think I went over between $50 and $100 to begin with. So we've been trying it at $600 a month and we've two months in a row now it's been closer to $700. By the time we've gotten our all of our miscellaneous stuff, not just the groceries, but I've been calculating the difference between the miscellaneous and the groceries. The miscellaneous every month is adding about $100 just within the last two months. Um, however, I'd like to come circle back out, circle back around to that in just a second. So as of right now, both months blown the budget it's not working so now I need to kind of assess okay is this just a poor planning thing this month was definitely the case I'm not sure so sure about last month um, last month we were definitely trying to build a little bit more of a stockpile so that we could you know maintain a lower budget overall instead of 900 maybe we spent 700 one month but maybe then we could keep at 600 um, that obviously didn't work and it did not work this month this month was really hectic and crazy there is a lot of interviews going on there are job applications or just life throwing stuff up in a tailspin whirlwind whatever you want to call it and I just did not have my ducks in a row this month and so budget was blown um, I want to say we spent it was over $800 for a family of seven, I know we're still doing pretty good. Um, for what we're trying to do, it wasn't very good. Um, especially as we get down to the bottom of the barrel in our savings. So, huh, yeah. All right. Um, I wanted to circle back to something. Miscellaneous stuff. That's what it was. Okay, so April, I'm going to give you this clue. <laughs> or not really clue. I'm going to give you this little bit of what's coming in that video. Um, I don't really have to buy much of anything this month. I know paper was on the list, but my husband and I both think we can get through this month without having to buy that. It's going to be an expensive purchase. Why has paper gone up so much? Um, the toilet paper, um, the toilet paper lasts a, a, a little bit more than a month. So if each month I'm buying a roll, there's going to be a month in there that I don't have to. And I think that's going to be this month. So hopefully that works out for the whole month. Um, I don't foresee it being an issue at all. So that's going to be great. Um, uh, laundry detergent and dish soap and all of that stuff is taken care of. We're good. Um, I think that also did get filmed. I did do Dawn dish soap. I found a deal on Amazon last month. And that's how I did that. That's kind of one of the things that brought, you know, the... At first, I should say, let me rephrase that. Um, the amount at the beginning of the month up a little bit more. I did have some stuff coming in from Amazon at random times. And it just, because um, I select send me later so I can earn those credits. And we use those credits for audiobooks. We use them for movie rentals. We use them for Kindle books. And we get those for free. So I don't mind delaying it. and But that means packages arrive whenever they arrive. So, um, we got like dish soap. I don't think I'm going to need to purchase anything. You will see in this video, you're going to see laundry soap. And you might be thinking, you make your own laundry soap. Yes, but I've been asked not to do that. Um, I think Heidi from Rain Country Homestead has a fantastic 
um, dish powdered thing. It does not have a scent. And so if your water has maybe an off smell or maybe you have harsher water, maybe that makes clothes not smell fresh or something. Um, but the men, especially in my family, have requested that we get some detergent. Um, so I just smile, nod, and say, okay, what's the cheapest one we can find? But make your own. It's so much cheaper. So much cheaper. Okay, I think that's it. I know you're waiting for this video, so let's go on. I'm going to shut my trap. Hopefully this gives you some ideas, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I just spent thirteen sixty-five on using the oh, it's not upside. What is this called? Food Flash Foods. The Flash Food app. My Myers had these on Clarence Markdown, so I went and grabbed it. This is about the same price as a roll is at Aldi, and then the ground beef was um, the best deal. This was two forty-nine for a one pound roll, so there's five dollars here. And then these were uh, two, 279 each. So I grabbed all three, and I'm just going to stick these in my freezer, and I will kind of have a little stockpile of meat um, slowly built up, and that takes off $13 from March's um, $600 grocery budget. Um, I just, when I saw that deal and I was right next to it, I didn't want to pass it up. So, anyway, I'm pre filming this and now I'm wanting to share with you uh, my grocery haul for March. Okay, here is a Kroger haul for you. They had some brisket on sale this week, so I went over. It's Monday. I was going to see if I could find any other meat on sale. I had to be in that area anyway, so I just did a full trip. So here's what I picked up. This was just over $100, and here's what I picked up. I looked at the price of whole chickens, and they had this one. I took a picture of it for, I want to say $2.99 a pound, so, or oh, actually it was over $3 a pound if I remember. Um, and it just wasn't a great deal for a whole chicken. They, I did finally find the foster farm chickens that were $1.79 a pound. However, these chicken thighs were a dollar twenty nine a pound so this ends up being the best and I still end up with bones that I can use for stock and whatnot so this came to seven dollars and fifty two cents we're gonna get to this thing in just a second um, then we saw an end cap with teas that were buy one get one free and this is one of our favorite teas this company and it was a great deal because it's easy for us to spend about five dollars a box on teas so at buy one get one free at $5.99, it still ends up being about $3 a box, which is fantastic. So I picked up definitely our favorites. Um, these ones are ones that are favorites. We're, we're actually really low on tea, so I was really excited to find that. I also have a order coming from Amazon. Uh, so that'll give us more tea because I knew this was not going to last us a month. I have... Uh, since moving to Michigan, our tea drinking has skyrocketed through the roof. I have two things of creamy peanut butter. This is something my daughter picked up because we are completely out. I don't know if it was cheaper to do these smaller jars rather than one bigger one. I need to ask her about that. Um, I think she understands to look at price per ounce, but I have, um, I did not uh, confirm that with her. We found these. These are gluten-free spaghetti. They are eight ounce, and they they were a dollar a box. The next price for gluten-free was three dollars a box. So even if I ended up with a twelve ounce, because this is a smaller box, a twelve ounce box of gluten-free noodles. Let me show you what what I'm talking about here. 
So this is the gluten-free one. This is a 12-ounce box. This was about $3.29. So, um, to get, you know, 24 ounces, or I'm sorry, 24 ounces, yes, I, 16 ounces a pound, I still come out ahead on this. So I picked up five. It was buy five and get the deal, and that was the best way to do this. So that's why I picked up that. It's a nice little stockpile of that. Okay, I told you I was looking for meats. They did have a lot of markdown steaks, and I looked at the price per pound on the markdown steaks, and we were looking at 8 or $9 a pound even with the markdown steaks. They had some burgers that were on sale that they made themselves. Again, we were still looking at over 6 to $7 a pound for that. So it wasn't a really good deal for me. However, this is a chuck shoulder roast and it ended up being $5 a pound. So $12.47 for a two and a half pound roast. I'm gonna put this into the freezer. And again, at $5 a pound, this will work um, well for our family. And I've learned that I can slice a roast and use it for other things rather than just roast. <sighs> 36 years old, I finally learned all that. We have company coming this weekend and I saw these on sale and I know that their little ones use it. So I just grabbed them, I'll stick them in the, um, snack one for a little one is not even a year so that'll be ha um, handy to have and then we still have you know cuties and some apples we need to finish up these grapefruits so there's plenty for the older ones that can kind of chew up a little bit now this is this is the big reason why I went to Kroger this is really big this is a brisket and it's really really big but it was $2.99 a pound for beef and so what we're going to do is we're going to trim it and we're going to cut it and we're going to make this work for our family again at $2.99 a pound that was a great deal and I can just work this for my family okay there's a lot of background noise I'm just going to end here we'll talk about stuff later all right so we're going to start with Walmart so what you see here was $98 here we go we have a cherry berry blend and this was receipt handy. This was $7. We have two of our liquid aminos. Um, price per ounce, Azure will be cheaper if I do well, if, if I got the gallon, but I'll be honest, I'm not going to be able to um, store a gallon. But they have a quart size, and it's going to still end up being cheaper. So I got enough to get us through this next month, and then um, I will try to get one through Azure. I picked up one thing of enchilada sauce. The enchilada sauce is... 348. If anybody wants to tell me how to make a really good enchilada sauce, I am all ears. Because obviously it's 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 gotta be more than just tomato juice or whatever it is. Um tomato tomato sauce and spices. It has to be more, right? Cornstarch. Anyway, send me your favorite. The one time I have made my own, it has not turned out well. And then these were approximately the same price as Aldi, and I picked them up. I couldn't remember the price of Aldi. They are about the same price as Aldi. I have company coming this weekend, and I know that they like ranch, so I grabbed that. My daughter asked for cardstock to make cards. We grabbed that. This is about $6. This is a favorite. This is the kosher stuff. Um, picked up some lotion that's what this is called lotion and some it was funny I was just talking with somebody that um, we don't need razors and everything and yeah we do so I have whatever this is called shaving cream and this for my daughter it's time to change out our 
toothbrushes. Grabbed those. And let's see. Um, oh, we have a thing of dishwasher tabs and a thing of laundry soap. This is about $10 for 115 loads. This will last us approximately two months because we purchased ours when we moved in here in December. So this will last me two months. And we purchased this when we moved into this house. So this will last me approximately two months. And I still have about 10 days left, so maybe even longer. Um, lotion. I got a smaller um, bottle last time, and so that lasted us about, about two months. And obviously I won't need to purchase these for another three months. All right, so I'm going to go put this away. Then I've got a huge Aldi haul to share with you, and then we're going to talk talk shop. Okay, I'm going to ask you to bear with me because I have not laid everything out. I still have food in cold bags and so I want to film this and put all this away and then get um, the rest of the stuff out. So this isn't organized neatly, but yeah, okay, let's talk. Um, there were two pound bags of these Cosmic Crisp Apples for $1.79. I want to say, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll show you my receipt later. Um, and if I remember, I'll just put the price here. Um, when I'm editing, sometimes the receipt has been taken care of, and so I don't have it anymore. I'm trying to remember to save it until after the video is edited. But ugh, if I can get paper out of here, I do, y'all. All right, so anyway, I, this was less than a dollar a pound is what I'm trying to get at. Boom. Uh, we picked up another thing of honey. Um, this just wasn't the month to get a good stock going on honey, so I just did that. We have one thing of lemon and one thing of lime. Uh, we make our own lemonades. Um, a lot of dishes dishes that I make that have like lemon um, uh, in it, I don't think it's strong enough, and so I add some more of my own. I picked up three of these as kind of a snack um, treat. That is something that, again, when we talk shop, I'll kind of go more into this last month. Um, trying to have like good snacks is something that I'm trying to do a little bit better on. Not just, you know, empty carp snacks and whatever, but anyway, these will be really good to have. Um, I, this was a dollar, and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to make my own for less than that, and so I just picked it up, it's super simple, and we'll be having some little pizzas with the non bread that I got from the food pantry. Um, I have many more of these, so I'm just going to set those aside, and we're going to get to those later when I have the rest of them. I have four things of these bacon bits. These used to be the best price around. I think it might be cheaper to get the big bag from Costco. I think it's like $10 for a couple of pounds, um, but I don't have the fridge space to keep it there. So once you open it, you gotta keep it in the fridge. And I just don't have the fridge space to do that. But I think that is the best price to do that if you have maybe like an extra fridge. Um, these used to be $1.25 a piece. They are, a uh, dollar ninety five now so they're almost two dollars a piece I like to use these um, especially for I mainly use it for soups let's be real so I'm gonna put this away or breakfast casseroles so that's why I got those it really just has some real good flavor we have four bags of chips I have three of these these have also gone up um, these are a 13 ounce, $1.79. That one is a 26 ounce, 24 ounce. And it was about 30 cents more. And the reason I got that is this, is, this used to be one of our favorite ways to eat chips. And so that's why I got that. Picked this up for a daughter. This is the oat creamer. Picked this up uh, for us. This is whole milk. I use this to make lattes. 
and anything else. I'm going to have company this weekend, so grabbed it for that. And speaking of company, we'll get to that here in just a second. Um, I have some pepperoni for that pizza. Lunches. Again, I have a couple here for quick, easy lunches. We're going to need two bags if we do this. Um, one bag is not enough. Two bags will be too many. There'll be leftovers. Um, but that's just fine. And this is $2.75 per bag, so it's a little bit over $5 for, excuse me, for the meal. Um, I got two things of hash browns. This one pound, 14 ounce is almost four dollars it's about a dollar thirty three per serving for what i use because i can get three servings out of it if i make it for the casserole if i make it just for a family dish like hash browns and eggs um it's a little bit more pricey that way but it i can definitely do a third of bag if i make the casserole so that's typically what i do it for and then i have three dozen eggs here this is not going to last us the month this will just get us through the next couple of weeks and like I said I'll get back to that well I want to get these in the freezer <laughs> there's also in my bags there's um five boxes of mac and cheese mac and cheese per box is one cent cheaper at Aldi than it is at Walmart just so you know um <laughs> I didn't plan on that I just decided not to do Walmart and if it was more at Aldi, I was going to get it at Aldi anyways. Um, and it ended up being $0.57 cents a box versus $0.58 cents a box at Walmart. But we're going to have um, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, and a vegetable plate uh, for our company tomorrow. That'll be for a lunch. I wanted something that I knew that the kids would eat. And that was pretty easy. And I'll have some leftovers here if they don't want the dinner. Then they can do this or the leftover mac and cheese, or whatever. Anyway, this definitely added to the budget, but didn't like break the budget, per se. And then here's some snacks for the kiddos. Um, this was $8 for this three pounds, which is kind of funny, since chicken is like $3 a pound, and this is about what that is. That's kind of That was kind of interesting to me, right? Yeah, three pounds, about $3 a pound. Um, so this was $8, and then the mac and cheese was another two fifty, dollars and then this is about $4. So there's about $12 here that I specifically purchased for company, but as you can see, it really didn't break the bank. So just something simple and easy, and um, the only reason I mentioned that is when we were ringing things up, I was like, ouch, everything's expensive, and my daughter made note of, like, well, we bought more things that we don't normally buy because we're having company, but it doesn't like take $50 to do that. It's just a few little bits. So in terms of hospitality, it doesn't cost a whole lot. Um, and it's going to feed us too. So anyway, just throwing that spiel out. And I'm going to go put all this away and we'll get back to the other stuff here in just a second. <sighs> okay, here is number two. And I still have one more. <laughs> Anyway, let's get going because there's a lot here. So here are the canned items I was talking about. I have two things of pineapple, one pineapple slices and one crushed pineapple. I have three things of peaches. I have two things of this for the chips. I have two things of artichoke hearts. What I did notice with last month and like salads towards the end of the month is that you know we didn't have like the cucumbers and whatnot so what we did have was pretty much just olives so and like shredded carrots so i will keep these on hand just to kind of help flavor salads up a little bit i have one thing of peanut butter um this emma do you remember how much this box of black tea was Okay, <laughs> something with a nine and two. We're gonna assume two nineteen. Um, this is a hundred. This is black tea. This is what you would use to make your own sweet tea with. Um, so this is going to be a lot cheaper than buying gallons of sweet tea. And again, that's mainly for company this weekend. But I know my boys really, really like it as well. Picked up one of these for making baked chicken. 
Here is that mac and cheese. Two things of yogurt. I have one lemon and one honey. Um, I've been trying to do better about eating like a protein if I need a snack or something. So I'm going to be honest. This one I'm going to earmark for my husband and myself. Mainly. Not really for breakfast or anything like that. The kids, if they need some, um, they're welcome to, this is the one that the kids like when they like a slice of cheese or something, so we have for that. This is for lasagna that we're going to have this month, and some of the other recipes, and then this is for other recipes. So there's that. Um, cheese is about $2 or $4 a pound picked up one thing of butter. It's going to be cheaper to get it at Costco, um, but I won't be going to Costco till uh, Monday when I will be in the area. So I grabbed this to tide us over till then. We have two things of this guacamole. This is really, really good. I have to say, I do not like store-bought guacamole. I think it tastes nasty. I think they either add too much lemon or not enough flavoring. Um, however, we had this at a friend's house and it was so good. And since then we've kind of <clears throat> adopted it as our best friend. I have two things of Parmesan cheese here. I believe last time, this, this is something in to note, last time I price checked it. It's cheaper to do it at Aldi than at Costco. Um, but I have not checked recently. We have one thing of sliced Gouda. One thing of the cottage. This is going to be for the lasagna. There is still a little bit of the cottage cheese left from my last grocery haul that the kids can eat. They want a scoop of that. This is for coffee. This is to go with the um, all the cheeses. This is for um, also the lasagna. For snacks, um, mainly for coming back from church and whatnot. If you're new to my channel, my husband is a pastor in Canada and it takes us about two hours to get there and two hours to get back. So um, it's good to kind of have something in the car um, just to get us till home because once I get home, then I need to make dinner. We eat something easy to get on the road in the morning. There is generally a brunch, or um, not brunch, a potluck at church. And then by the time we get home, it's between 4 and 5 in the evening. We leave at about 7.30. So I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, let's have a little bit of stuff in the car. I have three of these. However, one has been opened and it's in the snack cupboard. But these were going to go into the cupboard for Sundays. I think in this, which is the last one I want to show you, there is another one of these. So I have four of the ground turkeys. These are $2.79 each. Okay, ground turkey is $2.75 for a pound. Um, and that's a hair that was donated kindly. So those will go in the freezer and then... Um, I just have some of that. I have two things of the kibasa. I like to use these for, oh no, I forgot to get dinner out of the freezer. Oh no, I need something last minute. They're about $3 a piece, and it's the cheapest way to do things. Biggest frugal saving tip I can give you, have your pizza at home. So instead of ordering pizza or going through McDonald's or anything, have something you can throw together. This thing can last forever in the fridge. See? Best Buy July. Um, I have three of these. I prefer this over the other stuff. So I have one for my husband and one for me if he so chooses. This does have the wheat and dairy so he may not do it but that's okay. Having an extra on hand is not a problem. Um, especially if um, another thing here. Especially I might be getting a night job where I work from 6 to 10 p.m. and this might be very handy to have. Um, I have two things of garlic. I have used the last of the garlic that I grew. And so I think I paid almost $2 for one of these. But fresh garlic can't beat that price. This, we needed this um, the last couple weeks. This one, 
is just basically electrolytes. So you can throw it into a thing of water. I'm going to go put this in the medical bag um, because this would have been very handy to have this last week. And then for produce, I have cucumber and carrots and carrots and lettuce and celery. And we're so excited about that. <laughs> I did not get any frozen veggies. I'm going to share with you some interesting finds that I, let's see, some interesting information that I found between Walmart and Aldi comparing prices. So I'll be sharing that with you. And um, that kind of just took my whole brain power and I completely forgot to pick up any frozen vegetables because that was going well. But this will get us through the next couple of weeks, not a problem. And then they did have some flower sack towels, a five pack for $3.99 which is a fantastic deal. So I grabbed one of those and look, we already have gone through one jar of pickles. All right, I'm gonna go put all this away. Then we have one more, one more round to do. Okay, here is the last of it. I hit the mother load. <laughs> This is about $6 a pound, 50% off is about $3 a pound, which is pretty good for ground lamb. It's not as cheap as, you know, the ground turkey, if you got it in the rolls. But ground lamb is so good. But here's the thing, it wasn't just the ground lamb that was 50% off. They had some ground pork at 50% off. This was three something a pound, three, uh, looks like three forty nine dollars a pound. And it was 50% off. I like to do this with egg roll in a bowl because it just flavors it so well, especially with the cabbage. And so I picked up three of them. I only got three. There were six. I didn't grab them all. I did grab all the ground lamb. I knew it's close to closing time. Nobody was really going to buy this. There were still some people shopping. They would have done that. So um, anyway, I grabbed the ground lamb. I grabbed the ground pork. If I understand my receipt correctly, it says the new price is $1.74, but she did that for all of it. She did it for the ground lamb, and I was like, well, I wonder if she didn't know what she was doing. Well, then we have other things, and then we have it again. So she could have caught herself at this point, but she continued to give it to me for $1.74. So I got ground lamb for $1.74 for a pound. That is fantastic. So I have eight pounds here of ground lamb. I have three pounds here of ground pork. I have four pounds of this um, grass-fed ground beef. I really like to do this for burgers. This just has the best flavor for burgers. Um, there's that other ground turkey that I was talking about, and I, I thought I had more, and I did. I have two more of these kibasas. I'm going to throw them in the freezer, and when I use the ones from the fridge, I can pull those out of the freezer. And then, this is like my favorite thing of all times was corned beef and cabbage that my mom used to make. One of my favorite dishes of all times, and I haven't made it in a while because it's not my husband's favorite thing, but I decided this year I was going to do corned beef and cabbage. $2.99 a pound, $7.80. I will cook it in the crock pot. My mom usually did it on the stove, but I'm going to put it in the crock pot on low. And I'm going to have that this month because it sounds so good. And cabbage is on sale too. So, there we go. There is everything. That ground lamb was just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome find. Okay, here we go. Here is the receipt. Um, here you go. You can like check prices, see, pause if you need to. Let me know if I'm reading this right because I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Pretty awesome. There's that uh, corned beef. Eggs have gone up. These be $1.69, now they're $1.99.
just in one week. There we go. There's the total. All right, I'm going to go put this away, and then we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things I found at Walmart versus Aldi. All right, so this is the inventory I had done before I went grocery shopping. Um, I just added this last night, so technically before I went grocery shopping. This is what I had in my freezer. So we're definitely building up the stockpile that I'm trying to have, which is fantastic. It just means that I didn't use everything that I had planned. And so the, the even going over last month has definitely helped us in this month. All right, here is the comparison that I wanted to um, go over. This is Walmart and this is Aldi. So, um... 58 cents a box for mac and cheese at Walmart. It's 57 cents at Aldi. Let's pull up that thing. See? 57 cents. Okay. For frozen veggies, I made the assumption that, hey, maybe Walmart is going to be cheaper. I made the assumption. Can you stir that around so it doesn't burn? I made the assumption that, hey, Aldi only pretty much has 12-ounce bags. What if I could get, like, a three-pound bag or even bigger, the five pound, and maybe per ounce, it'll be less of a cost. And here's what surprised me. That is not necessarily the case, except in one area, okay? The stir fry mix at Walmart is 12.7 cents an ounce. However, at Aldi, it is 19.6 an ounce. So it is cheaper to get it at Walmart. A mixed bag of veggies, two pound. It is 7.1 cents an ounce. It is 7.9 cents an ounce at Aldi. Broccoli is 9.7 is 9.7 cents at Walmart. It is nine cents at Aldi. Um, I think I did the mixed. Cauliflower, I did not find any cauliflower at Aldi. Cauliflower is 9.7 cents, 9 .7 cents an ounce at Walmart. Blueberries. Blueberries are 15.1 cents an ounce at Walmart. They are 15.3 cents an ounce at Aldi. Strawberries. They are whole strawberries for a four-pound bag. They are 13.7 cents an ounce. This is strawberries. These are the sliced ones. And they are 13.8 cents an ounce at Aldi. The three pound cherry berry bag that I got was 14.2 cents an ounce at Walmart. It was 13 cents at Aldi. I could not find mangoes at Walmart. Mangoes is 18.3 cents at Aldi. And then strawberries. Nope, I already did strawberries. Oh, the California Medley. I did not see what it was at Walmart. It is $0.09 cents an ounce at Aldi. So pretty comparison until you get to the stir fry. The stir fry is cheaper at Walmart than it is at Aldi. Um, that is the most significant difference. Corn. Corn was $0.7.8 cents at Walmart and $0.7.9 cents at Aldi. So... That I thought was really, really interesting. I kind of wanted to share that with you. I know that, you know, as a young mom with three kids or four kids um, trying to go grocery shopping with four kids, 10 and under, it was really difficult, but it was also really crucial to save whatever I could. Um, hopefully this shows that not necessarily going to every store is going to save you money. I was already at Walmart. I can get stuff there that I can't get at Aldi. And this, just this comparison, it's pretty much the same. So if you're trying to save pennies and going from one place to another, 
it may not save you a whole lot of money. It, again, it, this is just something for you to kind of assess for your family to see what would work best and what would save you the most money. Sometimes saving you money is saving you sanity and going all over the place isn't worth it. So anyway, I just, I was there, I was doing that. I kind of wanted to do it for my own self. And so that's why I did that. Um, ground beef, organic ground beef at Walmart. It's ch definitely cheaper at Aldi. Um, and then price per meat, it's pretty comparison. Some things are cheaper and some things are more expensive. And I didn't write all that down. Um, I didn't have the time to do that today, but wanted to share that um, little bit with you. Okay, I did a quick Aldi haul that I will add to this grocery haul. Um, I was looking online at their ads and I saw a deal that I could not pass up. Um, if you've seen the cost of butter lately, when you can get it for about half that cost, you're going to go for it, right? So, limit six, the butter this week is $2.69. Uh, today is the last day. And it was just one of those, happened to look at the ads and find that deal. So I got the limit, $2.69 a pound. But while I was there, I checked some other things out. I did pick up one of these. I needed one of those. Um, I checked out, you know, what was on sale. And I did find this extra lean ground beef. Today is Tuesday. So it's $6.19 a pound. And I got it for 50% off. So $3.10 a pound, roughly speaking. I picked up six. I grabbed um, less than half of what they had. They had many more. And this will give us three meals, approximately. This is uh, one pound, 1.2 pound, and they all pretty much are about that. Um, so anyway, between the butter, the ground beef, and the powdered sugar, uh, between all of this, uh, the cost came to $41.20. Okay, well my husband had a chiropractor appointment and on the way home he picked up six more pounds of this butter at two sixty nine a pound from Aldi. And so I'll put the total right here because I can't remember what two sixty nine times six is. I just did the math and I already forgot. But we're gonna put this into our freezer and we're going to uh, just be really grateful that we were able to find a great deal. Um, when we moved up here I had to buy coffee at, or sorry, I had to buy butter at full price, and it really hurt spending $4 a pound, so this is going to be a great blessing. I'm going to go put it in the freezer, and this will last us until uh, hopefully we can find another uh, good butter deal to kind of replenish our supply. Until the next time we can find a good butter deal.